were a couple of people there with me. Several people there with me. Hello guys, we'll come back and to Talk TV. This there was a conversation about we'll someone before we get started, please watch plotting the video. to spread a rumor that Chase was not Chris's baby. That conversation happened. I was there for it. I never contributed to the plotation of the conversation. Ever. As a matter of fact, I said that that would never fly and it should be dropped. I know. Get your hand on my face. Friend, Giselle pushes her there. Candace's hand grabbing her vest, yanking her forward. Now Monique grabs. Okay, guys. So what do you see in the video? Let me know what you guys think. So this kind of clip kind of shows like what instigated the fight and how this fight had occurred. Now this is going to be reviewed. So let's go ahead and make sure you guys go ahead and like and subscribe to our channel. Also check us out on Instagram at Sisters Talk TV. So this is not going to be a scene by scene review. It's just going to be talking about some of the main things that has happened on the reunion and that we really need to talk about that was so annoying okay so pretty much the reunion picked back up between monique and giselle kind of talking about jamal bryant and then they talked about ashley's segment with michael and the whole cheating allegation with michael and the hotel room the ladies had their own comments about ashley's relationship with michael and then we also had ashley she talked she tells andy if michael cheats again yes she's going to leave michael there that was ashley's segment they also talk about karen and ray's situation how they say that karen is like really really fun outside of the camera when they're not filming karen is a good time um especially when karen is drunk and we can both see that i mean we can all see that karen is a good time especially you know when she's drunk but they a lot of the ladies feel that karen is a very um she's very private she doesn't really allow them to um allow the ladies to really get to know who she is and i mean how these group of ladies are like i would be private as well too one thing you say they turn misconstrue it manipulate it manipulate the situation so i mean i i don't blame karen for being private for being a private person especially when it comes to this group of ladies and we definitely see that in this reunion how biased and shady all of these ladies were towards the situation between Monique and Candace. And let's go ahead and talk about this. Um, so we can see in the clip that I showed in the beginning between Monique and Candace, like what happened. So this fight is not just like a one, a one-sided thing. It, it started from pretty much everybody, like everybody kind of contributed to this fight. Okay, Monique twirls Candace's hair. Candace, Candace grabs Monique's jacket. Giselle is pushing Monique. Wendy's hand is somewhere in the mix. Giselle claims that she was trying to push Monique, like, you know, tell her back up. Why didn't you do that to Candace? You're both of the girls are init about to initiate into a fight. Why did you only choose to push Monique and that wasn't like a warning to stop that was obviously like a push if you wanted to separate both ladies you put your hands in the in the middle and tell them back up like you guys need to back up or you pull Monique away not push Monique that wasn't a warning no Giselle that was not a warning and that was complete BS absolutely and I was so disgusted in this reunion, especially coming from Andy, because he was so biased, completely. And the funny thing is that the producers, everything that Andy was saying, the producers continued to rebut his statement with clips proving what Monique said. And he was so dismissive of what Monique was even saying and her side of the situation and telling her that did not happen. Yes, it did happen. She's 
the court the court of maryland has reviewed this um these clips multiple times so i'm pretty sure monique knows what she's talking about she knows and that is why in the court of law they dismissed the case between monique and candace because it was not a one side like it wasn't a one-sided fight both of the ladies started it and it was completely dis i was so disgusted with andy let's please let's go ahead and talk about this so we see the clip we kind of see what happened now you guys can interpret it how you want to interpret it but i know like I reviewed it multiple times and I kind of see like what happened. I, I saw like what happened, how it initiated. Candace is not innocent. Monique is not innocent. Both of the ladies are both equal. Like they equally started the fight. And it really was so disgusting to see the producer or the host, Andy, just being very biased. And it's like at this point, if you are the producer, you need to be in a neutral state yeah you really need to be a neutral state so if you want to take a side between the fight and between both ladies just say that and you can kind of, you can clearly see what side or whose side andy was on and you have robin giselle and wendy saying that this that did not happen obviously it did happen it did so Andy has already chosen the side and he has made it very clear. Anything that Monique was saying or insinuating, he was completely so oblivious about it. He insinuated that Monique's husband was not making as much money as, as he was when he was playing in the NFL. And Monique was just like, yeah, he is. Like he invested a lot of money. So Andy was already placing that stereotype that black athletes, this is the kind of stereotype he was placing like, black men or black athletes they don't after they leave the league or after they stop playing professional fast or football or whatever they mismanage their money and i'm so glad that monique made it very clear to bravo andy like yes her husband is let him know because he's placing that stereotype already and it was so disgusting he claims that Bravo does not condone violence. Really, Bravo Andy. We have seen that in Real Housewives of New Jersey. Teresa Judice, for God's sake. Chase another castmate down. I don't remember you being this way towards Teresa. What a coincidence when Andy decides to be so biased it comes from when it comes from black majority housewives. What a coincidence. And these are the franchise that make the show, that give the show a lot of ratings. Now I can see what Nene Leakes was talking about when it comes to Andy. How he knows things. And it gets to me. I'm starting to think. Did he know about the plot? Between Monique and the other ladies. About Christopher and her baby. The ladies claiming that. Chris Samuels was not Monique's youngest son's um, father. Did he know? Because he was so quick to dismiss it. After Candace has made a video saying that. There was a plot that was going to be started. But she was just like, no one would believe it because the baby looks just like Chris. But Andy was so quick to brush it off and saying that there wasn't a, that gets that makes me start to think that did he know about it? You guys let me know. Okay, you guys honestly let us know if you think that Andy knew about it because this started in his baby, like in his baby shower. So I'm pretty sure he was privy to it. And he's saying that it was never brought to, it was never shown. Well, obviously it was brought to the producers. The producers knew about it. 
Look, guys, Andy was so annoying in this episode. Like, he was so annoying. I'm really starting to think that Bravo or whoever, MSNBC, or not MSNBC, or whoever, may just need another host. Andy may just needs to, he just needs to be a producer and just do behind the scenes stuff and not be the host. Because his biasness is showing. Even viewers can see it. If you're going to host a reunion, host, be neutral. Look at things in both standpoints. And also when he's telling Monique that, you know, you're not crying. You don't seem to have an emotion and um, and you have Candace who's crying. Everyone expresses their emotion different, differently. And that's the thing. That's how... That's the old, that's the thing about understanding psycholo- like psychology. Learning be psychologically smart or be emotionally smart to understand that people process things differently. You have people who are criers and you have people who may not just they may are not they probably are just not criers and they probably handle things in a different way and for you to completely negate that this woman is not remorseful or she um, she doesn't care. She's oblivious about the situation that's going on. You're not psychologically smart or emotionally smart about the situation because she may be processing something differently. And and you have Candace, who is someone who's very very emotional, and she wears her emotion like she wears her, her emotion on her sleeve. She's a, a very emotional person, and that is okay. Some people are emotional and some people may not be as emotional you're looking at two opposite kind of way how people process things and it's not fair for you to completely negate someone else or how they're feeling guys i was so disgusted with this reunion like i don't even know if i want to watch part three like say in why don't you say ask monique like hey how did you process this how like tell me step by step what you, Already. what kind of emotion went you know when you were processing this situation and then you can also talk to Ken. It's like how did you process this like what was going through your mind that is how you kind of understand people's perspective is, is you have to ask like hey monique like what's going on like how did you process this? Like, what? Tell me step by step. Like, what were you thinking? And she's telling you. She's telling you, Andy. And you completely ignored it, which was so disgusting. Okay, so then we also have. Um, I feel that in the beginning. Candace actually did me well by Monique's side because I feel like watching the episode, she was trying to like, you know, tell Monique or, you know, trying to be cordial with Monique. But I feel that Monique was so caught on and she just had tunnel vision about like her inviting Sharice to her birthday or to her little wedding anniversary that she didn't see like what Candace was trying to do and I really feel like she should have talked to Candace and not listen to what Giselle said and I'm not understanding why is nobody seeing what Giselle did it's clearly and why is Andy not even asking Giselle like what she did you know or how why did she start this whole thing no one is like seeing that the only person that's seeing that is Karen and Monique like nobody like Giselle is going scotch free like nobody is seeing what she's doing except for the viewers and if this whole thing continues on next season where you have these group of ladies and continue to do the same thing over and over again I'm sorry like a lot of people are not going to be watching it's completely and you have the host who's being completely so biased and so oblivious of this whole situation And it's just disgusting. Like, no one's going to be watching. It just seems like the same thing that happened on Basketball Wives is going to be happening again. 
No one is seeing what Giselle is doing except for viewers and two other castmates. Like, it's just not, it's unbalanced energy, you know? So I really do think that Candace probably did mean like, well, and Monique should have really talked to Candace because Candace was, you know, I don't think that, she, you know, she was trying to let Monique guys like it's just a lot I, I think that Candace probably meant well and I think Monique should have just talked to Candace and not listen to what Giselle had to say and also another thing I need to mention if Candace if Candace was truly traumatized and she's crying and all this thing why continue to antagonize someone who you're saying you're traumatized from or by. You're continuing to, you're continuing antagonizing her and saying stuff to her, directing, making comments. It just, it kind of, to, to a viewer, it doesn't seem like you may be all that traumatized. It seems that you are acting, playing a script rehearsing a script that is what it seems like that's how like when people you have um people in domestic violence um relationships or situation both men and women they don't even talk to their abusers they don't even mention their abuser who who abused them they don't they want to stay away they don't even make communication with their abuser or with someone who has traumatized them no So this whole episode was completely BS and full of crap. This whole reunion, because Andy, the 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 um the the host, left a sour taste in a lot of people's mouth, and this whole thing has turned into something that you can clearly see that the host was completely biased. Guys, um, yeah, it was just, it was very, very disgusting. Very, very disgusting. And I really honestly do believe that Andy was previewed to the plot and he knew about it, but he, he didn't want to, he did, he wanted to automatically say there was no, no plot and go with the people or, you know, be towards the side with the people. They're saying there was no plot because if, it, how bad would it look if the network or, you know, the producers or whoever knew that Andy knew that there was a plot or the viewers knew that Andy knew that there was a plot? That would look really, really bad on Andy's part. So, I, of course, he's going to side with people saying that there is no plot. I honestly believe that there was a plot. But I don't think Monique went after the wrong person. She should not have went after Candace. She, she, she should have directed all of that energy to Giselle, Sharice, and the friend. Yeah. And I don't think, I don't know how this situation is going, going to go on for next season. I don't know if these two ladies are going to make amends. This reunion should have been focused on if you know, just trying to build that trust and cordial relationship with these two ladies. And this failed, you know, it really, really failed. And I'm just so disappointed because I was really wanting to see like an equal balance with the reunion, but obviously it did not happen. And Andy continues to let Giselle and Robin things slide with Giselle and Robin. He continuously let them do whatever they want and it's so disgusting. And they're going to lose a lot of viewers if if this continues to happen. Something needs to happen. There needs to be a shake up of table if you want to allow more people to watch. If more if you want more people to watch. Something like that there needs to be a cash shake up, a group shake up because if it's going towards this way, guys, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to, to be watching or other reviewers. Because look all over Twitter, all over Instagram. Everyone's completely disgusted by Andy's action. Completely. Okay, guys. 
that is about it. I feel like I'm taking much of this whole review. Like I said, it's not a scene by scene. I just talked about what I think was important in the big um, conversation that needed to be had. So let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys so much for all your subscription. Continue to like and subscribe to our channel. Like I said, it really helps our algorithm and everything you guys are doing, especially with all your subscribe your subscription. Thank you guys so much. Peace, love, and bless. Ever. As a matter of fact, I said that that would never fly and it should be dropped. I know.